Okay, this is Dr. Jaynes, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to uh, draw in GIMP. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to load up GIMP first. Now, I've been... I, actually, I had problems with this, and I started looking on the internet, and there's a lot of people that have problems, and there's a lot of different solutions out there. And uh, this is actually, for you computer guys out there, something that might be classified as an ID10T uh, error. But anyway, it, a lot of people have problems with them. I, I had problems with this, and uh, I'm going to share with you the solution. So we're going to load up GIMP, and then uh, the first thing you always have to do is, this is actually a blank page. There's no uh, uh, actual uh, canvas there, let's call it that. And so you actually have to uh, uh, start a new canvas. You have to tell it how many pixels by how many pixels you want it to be. And once you do that, then uh, you should be able to start drawing on it. So we'll, we'll go over and we'll click on the, pens, the pencil. We'll use the pencil and try, try drawing. And it's not drawing. We'll click on the paintbrush. It's not drawing. So um, what's going on here? Why, why can't we draw on GIMP? I mean, this is you know, supposed to be a great program, but it doesn't seem to be working. And uh, so I've been fighting with it for the past uh, week or so. And I realized this is what you have to do. So the solution is you have to go to the pencil thing. And you have to double click on it. And it will bring up another menu. And it will have all these nice fancy uh, options that you can select. But this thing right here, this is what you need to look at. Because by default, when you load up GIMP, this is blank. And if you double click on that, or single click, I guess, then you can get choose a paintbrush and it will have some kind of paintbrush in there. And once you do that, then uh, you should be able to draw. And that's a little bit bigger than what we want, so let's go back to the paintbrush and we'll make the size smaller. And now I can draw small lines. And if you want to change the color, you can click on that thing down there and we can draw in red now or if you do want to do the paintbrush we can uh, change that to more of an airbrush type style let's, let's just leave this menu up here we'll make this bigger so now you can paint with an airbrush type of style or uh, you know do whatever you want choose a color from someplace Say we want to repeat this color again. Choose that color for the main color. And uh, draw some more with our uh, airbrush type style. Do some spray paint. And there we go. We got the uh, GIMP drawing. So you can start making uh, uh, masterpieces of art and put them on your website. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching.